Hello again. So one of my quests is to c stop buying football shirts continuously from like classic football shirts or vintage football shirts. And I've been doing that quite well with buying them directly from the club store. Um, but they can be quite pricey sometimes to do that. And it takes a while for them to arrive. So one of the other avenues that I've been looking out is um, Instagram. Now I spend a lot of time on Instagram anyway, just sort of perving on other people's collections and obviously posting photographs of what I have. And not only do I follow collectors, but I follow people who sort of resell football shirts. Now, most of those are, are selling shirts that don't really follow the criteria for my collection. So it's just pretty much me just seeing what's going out there and what's being sold. Um, but every now and then something does appear that takes my attention. So as I was scrolling through, a shirt popped up that I'd never seen before. Now, usually if it's a shirt that I've never ever seen before, that sort of starts ringing some bells in my head. I'm like, ooh, what could this be? So I looked into it a little bit further and I found out that it was medium in size, had tags attached, had the sponsor, and was for sale. And as the title suggests, was from Singapore. Now I had not seen many Singapore football shirts uh, ever really, either for sale or in people's collections. I've seen a few knocking around on eBay, but um, I'm kind of always a bit hesitant to buy from eBay and the listing didn't really tell me this season that the shirt was from. So I was like, mm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just stay away from that. So I clicked on the um, post and I found out it was actually from somebody that I've been speaking to casually on and off for a while. So I was quite surprised I didn't see them post it initially. Um, it's uh, an account called Who's That Club. Uh, they just uh, either sell individual shirts like this one that I've just bought, or they focus on mystery boxes, which if that's your thing, then uh, they have a website also. Uh, I would kind of suppose I'd recommend you uh, check them out. Um, this entire process has been uh, absolutely great, and I would um, say that there's uh, no reason why you should avoid buying from them. So obviously I dropped them a message saying, is it still available? They said yes. Uh, and they were very accommodating in my requests for the measuring of this shirt because obviously it's an Asian club and sizing can be sometimes a bit weird. Sometimes they're a bit too big, too small. So he was able to measure the uh, chest uh, pit to pit and confirm that it is actually a UK medium. Um, so once that was confirmed, we negotiated a price and he sent it out to me. Um, it arrived very quickly, uh, so I can't complain of that. Uh, one bit. Obviously I've not opened the package yet, but I have faith that the shirt that I ordered is inside. So I suppose that uh, only leaves one thing to do, and that is actually open the package. Now I can imagine a lot of you watching are like me, don't really have much information or knowledge on Singapore football, so we might learn something together here today. So without further ado, let's open up the package. For the first Singapore club in my collection. Oh, it comes with a little uh, tissue paper with the uh, Who's That Club little branding on. Very nice. So, undo that. Get rid of that. Da, 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 da. So, there is the rear. Kind of a funky design, really, isn't it? That's not too bad. And then the front. Da, 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 da. There we go. And as you can imagine, there's the giant Jeep sponsor. No, this is not Juventus. This is a club from Singapore. So I will uh, first dress the mannequin, get him clothed. He might be cold without anything on. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to you. La la la. Easy peasy. Definitely medium, that isn't it? So there we go. Mannequin is dressed, and I'm very pleased with how the shirt is. It's sometimes quite difficult to determine how a shirt looks just from an image online, but I really like how it feels. Um, yeah, very pleased with that. So as for the club itself, they go by the name of Ballastia Calsa Football Club, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced, and they are based in either Ballastia or Taupeo, which is where they play their home games, the stadium. I think Taupeo actually translates to Big Swamp, which is kind of funny. Um, but it's certainly from that area. Uh, the shirt itself is the away shirt from 2019, so it's a couple of seasons old now. And I was able to get the shirt for £27, which I think you would probably agree is very reasonable, considering it's quite an obscure and rare shirt to find. Um, the club itself were founded in 1898, 
which was quite surprising when I saw when I read that. Usually, clubs founded from that sort of time zone were either European or South American, and it actually says it on the bottom of the shirt, 1898, which is a, a nice little homage to the uh, to the club itself. Um, they go by the nickname of the Tigers, which is why they have a really cool tiger on the crest. Um, and historically, I, well, certainly within the last years, I don't think they've ever won the league, um, which is kind of weird because sometimes when clubs appear from these sort of smaller nations, it's usually the the main the sort of main team that you can buy the shirt for, uh, which I think goes by the name of the Warriors or something to that effect. Um, so it's kind of weird to find even one of the, the lesser teams, uh, their shirts available to buy. So it kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, of course, it's manufactured by Lotto. Um, I've actually not bought a Lotto shirt for quite some time. Um, I bought a few initially and I wasn't too pleased with how they were sort of created. The templates were a bit, eh, a bit boring. And then I waited a few years and bought a few more, like the Dijon one or the Mainz shirt, and the templates went totally the opposite way. They went super crazy and wild. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, and I think this one kind of fits itself in the middle. The design is still kind of out there, but the 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 Mainz and the Dijon shirts were kind of really small and tight for European, whereas this is actually quite snug and big for a medium Asian. So it's kind of weird that they've got that. It seems like it was the, we should be the other way around, but um, I'm really pleased with how that goes. Uh, the sponsor itself is like woven into the material, uh, but the lotto and the club crests are like just transferred onto it. Um, it's not particularly a thick one. It's just a, quite a cheap one. And then of course, you've got quite a decent amount of sponsors on the sleeves, which are also woven in. Naturally has the tags attached, um, but that's, Kind of it, really. Um, it's the first club from Singapore. Um, if anybody has any more information, of course, let me know. But um, yeah, it's another club, another country down. I think that takes me up to 78, something like that, maybe, out of 211. So we're slowly getting there. Um, next week, I believe, there's going to be another country added, which maybe you would argue is more obscure than this one you'd have to decide that for yourselves but all in all i'm very pleased to finally own one this shirt's really nice i'm happy that uh, i have it in my collection again big thank you to uh, who's that club for supplying me with this shirt um and that's it really let me know your thoughts have you got a club shirt from singapore let me know if you do and uh, yeah i'll see you on friday for a really really cool shirt really special video so as always thank you guys for watching see you next time